Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This should be a real treat. I have not had any Fatheads uh, beers before. And they're out of North Olmstead, Ohio. Uh, Patrick sent me, uh, sent me this beer. Uh, this is a 7.5% according to here, and I think that's what it's got here. Yeah, 87 IBUs on this beer. So, uh... A lot of IBUs there, a lot of bitterness on this beer, and we're going to find out if it's a balanced beer, or if it's more malt or more hops, or it's a, it's a nice balanced IPA, guys. Uh, commercial description on this beer says, Uncivilized and aggressive, this West Coast style IPA packs wicked hop flavors and aroma, savage amounts of Simcoe, my favorite, Columbus, and Cascade hops uh, define this brew's signature pine and citrus notes. Try with our smoked wings in the killer, killer sauce and run the risk of a shrunken head. Mmm. Yeah, shrunken head or a fat head? Which one you got? Great American Beer Festival Silver Medal winner of 2010 and Bronze Medal winner of 2011. Brewing News National IPA Challenge Champion 2010 and 2012. Bistro's West IPA Gold Medal 2009 and Honorable Mention 2010. Draft Magazine's Top 25 Beers in the World 2009 Silver Medal at the 2012 World Beer Cup in the American IPA category. A lot of awards for this beer. Uh, I'm hoping for good things. So uh, Let's go over to the food pairings for this one. Food pairings for this one is your typical IPAs. Uh, I mean, the... Uh, the cuisine is going to be your curry and your Thai food, and I don't know where they come up with that. I like IPAs with a lot of American foods. Uh, pizza, uh, chops, steaks, burgers. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of foods that you, you can drink an IPA with, especially if you're a hophead like me. The cheeses are peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue, cheddar. Uh, your more pungent cheeses, gorgonzola, Limburger, and the meat is poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. But like I said, I like an IPA with a lot of with a lot of meats, and the reason they categorize categorize it like that is because it's a stronger beer. It is a definitely a hot forward beer, so you want the dish to compare to that. You don't want to have a real light dish like. Uh, and I'm also, and I'm gonna use this for example, and people are gonna say, "Well, I like that I like kind of beer with that," but something like a spaghetti or a pasta dish where it's a really light dish, uh, but. Um, there's people, and I and I'm probably one of them. If I'm eating lasagna or or a spicy meaty uh, spaghetti dish, I love I love an IPA with those with those kind of dishes. So it's it's basically for reference. So if you're drinking a stronger tasting beer, to have a stronger tasting dish to go with it, guys. So, but if if you like to drink an IPA with your ice cream, by golly, do it. That's what I say. If it blows your hair back, uh, makes you happy. I mean, don't go by what everybody else says. If you like it, do it. That's what I say. These are just for guidelines and uh, for reference. So, uh, and, and your stouts is the same way, and your pails and your lagers. Uh, your lagers will go with your lighter dishes, and your pails and your IPAs will go with your little bit stronger dishes, and your stouts will go with your real hearty dishes, and even after dessert and chocolate dishes. So, uh, that's all it's got to say here about that. And, uh, of course, uh, this is an IPA. It's not recommended for extended salary, salaring, even though it's a 75 or center. Uh, but you could salary it if you think it's boozy or something. Uh, I personally would not. Uh, I mean, I have salaried some of Double's uh, uh, IPAs in the past uh, because they've been boozy and stuff. But I, not too many single IPAs or regular IPAs are going to be super boozy unless it's not a well-made beer. So, without further ado... Patrick, thanks again, brother, for sending me the beer. 
Let's get the cap off of this and they have a real nice label and a real nice cap. It's got the green cap with the bad head on it. That will end up on the fridge downstairs, no doubt. So I can get this thing off without bending it up. Into the glass we go. And this has a bottled on date of February 17th, 2014. Pretty fresh. About a month old here. Just a tad over a month old. Over into the light. Very orangey, tangerine in color. A lot of bubbles streaming up. Very good looking beer. Very clear. Very typical of what an IPA would look like. And with that pour, we didn't give much of a head. Maybe a quarter finger and just dissipated pretty quick. Just covering the top of the beer now, guys. So let's get a nose. Get a whiff of Jeff here. Oh, man. That's wonderful. Just like it said in the description, pine and grapefruit and pineapple. Very citrusy. Very strong hot profile. And like I always say, you guys, the fresher you can get an IPA, the better off you're going to be. And this one's just barely over a month old, so it's pretty damn fresh. Oh, well, it smells so citrusy and orangey and pine. Wow. Can't wait to dive in it, so I'm not going to. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Patrick. Thank you, sir. That's freaking awesome. I am so glad he sent me two of these. If I could get this beer here, you would see this in every fridge when I did a, a fridge video. You'd be looking, well, he's got that in every fridge. You're damn right. This is awesome, guys. This is an A beer, no doubt. This would probably be in my top 10 list for IPAs, guys. Maybe even top 5. I love the taste of this. It's citrusy and grapefruit and everything is... Everything seems to be balanced. No alcohol taste to me whatsoever. Wow. It's awesome. My hair might be blowing back a little bit. I'm blown away by this. This, this is awesome. I'm going to drink the whole thing in front of you here. Look at the lacing it's leaving on the glass. This is a very well made beer, guys. Probably one of the best IPAs I've had this year. Wow. It's delicious. Well, before I sit here and drink it all right in front of you, let me take it back here and let her sip on it. and uh, We'll come back and do the final chug and grade on this one. But I think you know where I'm going on this one. It's definitely an A beer. Let's see where it winds up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Maybe just a little bit more than a little bit. My God, that's awesome. That's delicious. Like I said, that's probably the best IPA that I've had this year. I would buy this on a regular basis if I could get my hands on this beer. Patrick, thank you, sir. I do appreciate you sending this to me. Final chug, guys. That's delicious. Date on the bottle. ADV on the bottle. I'll be used on the bottle. Awesome beer in the bottle. Win, 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 win situation as far as I'm concerned on this beer. Guys, this is a 10. You probably gathered that by now. The way I've been raving over this beer since I opened it, opened it up. So It's awesome. If you can get your hands on Fatheads, Head Hunter India Pale Ale. You need to try this. You need to pick it up. If, if you're somewhere that you can get this beer all the time, you're a lucky. <laughs> you're lucky. You're, you're very lucky. Especially if you're a hophead like I am. 
This is an awesome beer. I would drink. I would probably drink this. I would probably drink this over a Bell's Too Hot a Day and that's my favorite go-to beer if I could get my hands on this beer. And, and for me, that's saying a lot because I'm a big Bell's fan. Well, I wish the distribution was a little bit larger on this and it was available here. I really do. All right, guys, you know how I feel about it. Uh, I'm blown away by this beer. It's very, very, very damn tasty. Very well-made beer. Awesome job these guys are doing up at that head. So let's go over and see what everybody else thinks about it. We'll start off with Beer Advocate, and Beer Advocate says 97, world class. Would not argue with that a bit. I think that number is a tad conservative, but that's just my opinion, guys. But for them, they're really conservative anyway, so 97, world class, that's pretty good numbers for those guys over there. So over to Rate Beer, Rate Beer says, ha ha, we're in agreement. Rate Beer says 100 overall. And 100 in the style. Imagine that. That's what it gets from me. A 100, guys. If I was to put a number on it, that would be the number I would put on it. All the information you need on the bottle, all you ever wanted from an IPA in the bottle. So, It's an awesome beer, guys. Patrick, I love it. I love it, guys. I do appreciate you sending me this. And he actually sent me two of them, so i got another one to try. I can't wait to try it. That, it's probably going to happen this week sometime, so... I like my IPAs fresh, so, uh, and this is pretty damn fresh, and you can tell it by what's, what went into the glass, so, guys, 100 from me, 100 from them, if you had it, give me some comments back on this one, let me know what you think of it, whether you think it's that good of a grade, uh, deserving of that good of a grade, I do, uh, I did enjoy this beer, very nice hot profile, very nice taste, everything that you'd want in an IPA, especially a West Coast style IPA with the citrus and the pine and the grapefruit and the pineapple. I mean, it's awesome. It's awesome. All right, guys, we're going to get out of here. That's all i got to say about this. If you've had it, give me some comments back on this one. Hit the like button, rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. We might do another Fatheads. What do you think about that? See y'all then.